Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is a video tutorial for the new Boston. Now in this video we're going to be looking at Ajax and using um, a GET request to a specific page in order to return an auto-suggest style search box. So you may have seen on uh, Google, um, if you use Google as a search engine, you may see that when you type in um, a value or you start to type in a value you will actually receive a list of um, recommended results based on what you've typed so if I was to start typing in pH it may automatically suggest PHP for me because this is a popular result and uh, it is displayed underneath the text box now there's a couple of things we won't be doing in this tutorial because this is just demonstrating how we can use Ajax with PHP. We're not going to be using CSS to make everything look pretty because we're going to be focusing on the Ajax relative to the PHP. What we're also not going to be doing is searching it by popularity. What we're going to be doing is we're going to use a, um, a qu uh, an SQL query to match um, or, or, or match every every time we press a key down so if I'm typing PHP here every time we press a key we're gonna match what we've already got to the rest of a string inside a database so let me just make this a bit clearer uh, let me just open up my uh, database that I've already created okay so if you haven't already created a database go into PHP my admin or whatever you use to uh, administer your MySQL database and you want to create a database called Ajax or something of your choice but just remember I'm going to be using uh, the name Ajax now we need a table inside of this database called names or obviously whatever you choose to call it but remember to add it in in the tutorial um, in the substitute of what I've named it and we have two field names we've got ID and we've got name now ID is just something I always tend to put in a database just to keep track of um, how many records there are and also um, also the ordering of which each record was entered so you can see that I've got a few names uh, that I've already entered in let's just take a look at the database structure so you can you can see how I've set this up we've got ID which is a primary key and it's an auto increment so every time we in insert a record it will um, it will uh, increment this value and name is just a variable character of 40 so that's all you need to do and then you want to put some dummy data inside your database uh, inside your table sorry and the data that you want to put in is that the data which uh, you know put, put a few names in first of people you might know etc and then choose a name that already exists but with say a different surname for example so when we start to type let's just go back to context when we start to type Alex like that we'll get Alex Garrett and Alex Malcolm returned and then when we continue to type we might type Alex G then Alex Malcolm will no longer match what we've uh, currently typed so Alex Garrett will be returned so hopefully that makes sense if you can though um, add as many um, rows as you can in here as many records as you can in here to get the best effect from this possible so what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be creating a text area uh, or a text input box first of all um, and we're not going to have a submit button obviously because as the user types we want the auto suggest to work so we're going to do this via Ajax and our search.inc.php file is going to do the searching for us so in index.php let's just set up um, first of all our page the head of our page the body of our page then we'll set up the um, the area that the user can type in will also then set up the div area where the uh, results will be shown so let's go ahead and create our HTML root tags let's go and do the head tags just underneath that and body so obviously feel free to properly set up your document I'm just uh, keeping this really clean and simple uh, for the purposes of this tutorial so in body the first thing we want is a form we don't need an action and we don't need a method because we're not posting this form this form is just going to uh, the reason we're creating this form is so we can access uh, the elements inside the form so I'm going to give it an ID and I'm also going to give it a name so the name and the ID we're just going to call this search and I'm going to air my form there 
So inside the form, I want some text to tell me uh, what to do. So I'm going to say type a name. And then underneath that, I'm going to have an input box, and this is type text. The name of this can be a keyword because this is the place where we're typing keywords. And then we want this on mouse down. Um, up, sorry, sorry. On key down. Um, what do we call it? Um, event. So we want an on key down event. And what we're going to do is every time a key is is pressed. So every time we're in focus on this, in this, um, let's just preview it so I can explain a bit better. So every time we're in focus on this, um, we can, um, we'll, we'll click in here and we'll start to type something. Um, and every time we press a key down, so I'm pressing a key down now, the um, the Ajax page or the Ajax code will load in this this um, search.inc.php page that we have here. So let's go ahead and make up the name of our function now so we can uh, put that into uh, our JavaScript in a moment. So I'm going to call this um, find match. We'll call it find match. Okay, so obviously now that we have this um, find match function, we're going to need to add that function up here a bit later on um, inside uh, JavaScript. So let's go and create our div. We need to create an ID for our div as well because remember within the Ajax we um, get this element by its ID and then we load some HTML into this. And this HTML is going to be the returned values that we find from search.ing.php.